Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today is day four of I'm so sorry if I keep looking over there, but today's day four of the 12 days of Christmas and today I will be doing Rudolph. I'm gonna be doing my base first. Oh, I'm sorry, I got keys in my butt. <laughs> and I have some wild raspberry hibiscus tea right here with me. So I already moisturized my face with the elf moisturizer. But I feel like I really need to do a lip scrub. So I'm just gonna take this elf. I said elf. This lush lip scrub in bubble gum. As you can see, I have this pimple right here at the front of my nose, just like Rudolph. I'm just gonna add some lip gloss, this clear lip gloss. Look how look how juicy it makes my lips. Anyways, let's try to get started. I've been talking, I've been doing nothing for a minute, so I'm gonna prime my teeth this part right here on my face by my cheeks where I have the most pores with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really do love this primer. If you don't have it, y'all can buy this one, but then again, y'all can buy the e.l.f. poreless one. It works just as well. And I'll be using this mattifying hard candy primer on my chin and on my forehead, the place I get oily the most, because I'll be applying this, the regular Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, all over. So let me get some tea. So since I'm going in depth in this one, some of my videos that I will record won't be as in depth of a face routine. But if I do this foundation routine and a different foundation routine, of course I'll do it in depth. But if I do this one again, I'm not doing it as in depth. And the whole thing about makeup is like knowing your skin. Of course, if you want your makeup to look good, your skin gotta look good also. I know y'all can't be like, I know y'all gonna be like, um, first of all, look at that pimple on your nose. Like, first of all, leave me alone. First of all, that's, that's not even a junk food pimple. That's a period pimple. So, stay in your lane. Like this much. I don't know if you can see why he's like this much. And I put that everywhere else on my face. I always like to, like, correct. Not like correct, but you know. Apply a concealer so certain areas will get covered faster with the foundation. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty foundation in, in 440. That's like my winter shade. And I'm gonna be using this highlighter from Beauty Treats. It does have a color, it's a little bit highlighter, but I got this from Five and Below. Like this much of my hand. I do two pumps for a full coverage face and I mix in the liquid highlighter with this. That makes the foundation more thick because if you don't know this foundation is quite watery because it's a water based foundation which is why people kept thinking that it oxidized but it doesn't. The shade it dries it down to is the actual shade of the foundation. So this shade right here as you can see it looks very orange on me. This is not the shade of foundation. This is the this is before it dries down. So I'm using the Real Techniques sponge and blending this all out. It dries down really fast, so you gotta be really quick to blend it. And plus, for me, that um highlighter, the highlighter I mix it with, it it dried down so fast too. That's why I go straight in to blending. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. In the shade Deep Dark 54. Again, for my under eyes, a highlight and everything. And then I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany. To, you know, do my face. Like, to contour. So, with this, I don't apply much underneath my eyes. Because this concealer is really good. It's really full cover. I would say medium to full coverage, but it does a lot. And I always like to reverse contour this. Just draw a sharp line. Y'all, if y'all got an LA Girl Pro Concealer, make sure y'all shake it up. Put a lot on my forehead. Like this. Down the side of my nose. On 
my where my cheekbones are. My makeup revolution banana powder. I just put it in a whole different um container because get this much and set my chin. The areas that get oily the most, I set it with the with the banana powder first. And then I'm going to leave my eye and blend out the creases. I'll be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Dark 40. And now I'll be cream, like, not cream contouring, reverse contouring with it. And setting my smile lines. Well, I baked my smile lines with this. So I first take some on the same side of the sponge. And do that on my smile line. Eyes. So I can't really bring you guys any closer than this. This is how close my camera zoomed. Two, this is like, it's like this, it's a different undertone basically. I'm just using it on my eyelid. I don't apply much on my eyelid because then it's gonna get cakey. And I'm gonna take this foundation brush. I love using this foundation brushes like these. So pat out my eye, my concealer. So I'm gonna do that. I'll eat one brush. It looks like this. And my base cosmetics is my Ray palette. If y'all don't have this palette, y'all should get it. It's worth the money. And I'm gonna start off taking this shade right here called Spice. And I'm just gonna put I'm gonna take this ColourPop E1 brush and just pack it in there. I'll get some pigment and just Start packing it in my crease. This is the transition shade. So after that, I'm going to put the brush down and I'm going to wipe off my bake. With this brush. This is a just a regular powder brush. I'm wiping off the bake and my reverse contour. Right here is this brown. It's from this LA Colors Smoky Eyeshadow Palette I got last Christmas. I'm going to take the same side of the brush and just pack it right underneath where I put Spice. Are there any Christmas movies that you guys love watching or that remind you guys of your childhood? This one right here is made of the exact same pigment. And use that over top of it. Oh God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna fan my eyes so this can dry. And I'm gonna do this other eye off camera. I'm sorry if I look a little cross-sided. Like, these lashes. I try to put on some lashes that make it look like they gave me like their eyes like so i use these lashes but these don't have a particular name i just found these on amazon these are synthetic so now i'm gonna do my under eye and i'm gonna do it's just really easy i'm just gonna take where's my brush oh here we go i'm gonna take this elf eyeliner brush but it's like it's like this and I'm just gonna take the shade. The shade will I take? I'm gonna take the shade Midnight in the Big Cosmetics. It's my baby palette. And just line that underneath my eyes. I feel like I really do look cross eyed. So now I'm gonna take the shade Sunset from the Big Cosmetics. It's my baby palette. On the eyeshadow brush from earlier. And so I pat in it on my nose in a circle. Making a circle with this shade. As you see, the shade is a lighter red. A light red.
where the nostrils are. I'm extending that into the circle right here. And now I'm going to take the Morphe 35B, the red shade in that, in this one, on the other side of the brush. As you see, it's darker than that red, than the shade Sunset. And we're going to add some more. I'm going to wipe off the brush on some tissue to get most of the pigment off. But now I'm going to dip into this black from the Morphe Day 5B. I don't know if it worked good, but it's my first time using it. A little bit. I'm going to wipe some off on here too. <laughs> I'm just doing it at the outer parts of where I put the red and flipping the brush over and over like at the part where I put the black I add the black shadow and flipping the brush over so I can blend out and I'm since I didn't put down any concealer it's a little it's patchy on my nose but that's my fault also my nose is very dry and I should have did a sheet mask <laughs> As you can see, my nose is really red. So now, I'm going to finish contouring. It's called Brownie Bite from the Beige Cosmetics. It's my very palette. And the same contour, and the same powder brush that I used to take off on my big, I used this to contour. But yeah, I really do think my nose turned out well. I just feel like I should have put down some concealer before I started. Um, before I started putting the red on there, but other than that, boom. <laughs> so now it's time for highlighter, yay! So for no, before I highlight, I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Man Eater mascara. This elf highlighter in the shade Blush Gems, it look like this on this brush. First, I'm not gonna highlight right on my nose yet. Let me highlight my cheeks with this. This Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey on my braid. I mean, on my on the red part. Just a little bit of this, well, long way. On a different brush. On this pencil brush, I'm gonna take this Elf. Highlight in the shade Pink Diamonds. Since the nose is the center of attention, I'm going to put on a new, a new lip. Then there's Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Brandy Wine. First, I use the ColourPop Lippy Stick and Grunge. Oh my god, I need to buy a new one. No. Dang. I need really, I really need to buy a new one. Dang, this is my favorite lipstick ever, guys. This is my first time I ever finishing a lipstick. I need to buy a new one. So I mainly apply that in the center. I'm going to put it together. And use my finger to blend it out. I love to add a clear gloss. Gloss. But since I got the, this Dose of Colors gloss in on repeat... I tried my concoction yesterday. This lip, this lip, um, concoction. This is how the gloss looks. And I put this in the middle. My finger also. Apparently, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer there was a book. And it started in 1939 with a Jewish Chicago copywriter named Robert May. 
Rob named Robert May, and it was an instant hit. It gave out 2.4 million copies, but stopped issuing it after wartime because of restrictions of paper. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Since today's day 4 and tomorrow's day 5, please look forward to it. Also, here's a fact about Rudolph. 